Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Brew With Manly. I'm Ahmed from Mamet Coffee Lab, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to brew with a Paragon and a flat bottom brewer. Nowadays, my favorite flat bottom brewer is the Oria V2, but I'll be pairing it with the Sibarist filter that I've pre-rinsed. I will be using our newest limited coffee from Villa Betulia in Colombia, the SL28 anaerobic natural coffee. The trick when you're using the uh, Paragon with the uh, flat bottom brewer is to make sure that you are creating a contact between the frozen bowl and the bottom of the brewer. I'm using a dose of 16 grams of coffee for 240 grams of water. Usually for my flat bottom recipe, I'm using a three pour structure, which I'm going to do, however, I'm going to change the proportions a little bit. I prefer using the uh, Paragon with um, anaerobic coffees just for the first 25% of the uh, brew, which means about 60 grams. So what I'm going to do is to do one pour of 60 grams and two pours of 90 grams each. 60 plus 90 plus 90, that's 240. And um, I'm using a water at 94 degrees uh, Celsius. My grind size is relatively fine because I am using a Sibiris filter and the Aurea that allows a faster flow rate. So I'm about 7.2 on my Dealing Suite Lab. That's equivalent to about uh, 20 to 22 clicks on a Comandante or 12 to 14 uh, on a Baratza Anchor. Let's start. My first pour, quite fast and aggressive, of 60 grams with a circular motion, followed by a center pour. And my WDT tool to break the clumps and really bump the extraction here. And here, there's no target time when it comes to the um, bloom. Just wait until the entire pour pass through the coffee and the frozen bowl. I opened up my lid here to cool down the temperature a little bit. I like to use anaerobics at 90, 91, 92 degrees if you check the regular recipe. So that's why, because I'm using 94, I want the next pour to be a little bit uh, chiller. And here I remove my bowl and at 50 seconds, I'm gonna pour my second pour of 90 grams. and reach 150. There you go. I really love how anaerobics turned out with the uh, Paragon. You have a very clean and rounder aroma and flavor. And once again, for the second pour, just wait until the entire water passed through the coffee which is now for me, one minute 30. And then my last pour of 90 grams. You should finish before two minutes and a half. There you go. 16 in, 240 uh, grams of water at 94 degrees. Uh, but then I opened up so that it chill until, let's see what temperature it is, 90-ish. So um, the idea is to use a hotter temperature and chill it on the rocks, and then use the regular temperature that I would use for an anaerobic, which is 90 to 91 degrees Celsius, in two equal pours of 90 grams each. And I am done here at two minutes and 25, 26 seconds. Mm. Wonderful. That's where you can get past the cherry liquor or those, you know, cherry jam and cocoa nibs that you can find in a lot of anaerobics. He can really find those tropical notes slightly more. Also almost floral at some point. Mm. 
It's a very round cup of coffee, different than when it's just hot. By having the coffee ground finer with the Sybarist, you're able to have this really plumpy, uh, heavier texture and a very lingering, sweet, soft, yet creamy uh, finish. This is one of the best aftertaste I've ever had, where it's not harsh, it's not super licorice, it's actually sweet and fruity and lingering at the same time. Often when the coffee is over lingering, it's either excellent coffee, of course, or sometimes overly roasted or overly extracted. Mm. Beautiful. The acidity is there, juicy, not zesty, not licorice, not um, super aggressive or angular. It's bright, it's bright, elevating the sweetness, so it's perfect here in terms of balance with the sweetness. Very low bitterness, just the you know, uh, classic um, dark chocolate flavors that you find in the finish. And a super balanced cup of coffee. Use it, um, try it with your anaerobic, but also with naturals. It works well with the naturals. And also the washed at high elevation. Remember that I really like the Paragon when it comes to high density, often natural anaerobics, some washed, like a Kenyan washed or a washed coffee that has a lot of intensity in aromas and flavor. The Paragon works um, really well with those kind of coffees. Let's measure the extraction and come back with some results. You should get a TDS of about 1.35 and an extraction yield around 18%. It's at more like 17.9 here, which is great for this kind of coffee, which is exactly, which is on the range that I personally like, which is in my personal preferences. And um, the idea is just to adjust once again, the grind size and perhaps the um, amount of water you're putting. I'm creating a slightly stronger coffee here so that the um, notes are more uh, prominent, but feel free to play with this recipe. Do not use the Paragon for more than, I would say, 30% when it comes to flat bottom brewer. I've done the experiment and basically chill down the coffee too much where you don't have that intensity of flavor and aroma. So I will restrain to only 20 to 25% uh, when using the Paragon with the flat bottom brewers. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you next time. Age, what I don't show you, the mess, the cleaning. It's important to clean all your equipment. Of course, the more equipment you have, the more cleaning you have to do.